Welcome to this week's Technique Tuesday. Let's get right into my background today. So I have Merlot ink, Cranberry Fizz ink, and Peppermint Scrub ink from Catherine Poehler. I have some water in a mini mister, and I have wine glasses. So these are all wine glasses. They're my wine glasses. This one is um, <laughs> actually from a cherry on top. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a background using wine glasses and uh, ink. I'm using hot press watercolor paper today. And I'm going to turn my wine glasses upside down. And I'm going to stamp them using all of these beautiful colors of ink. So I'm making like my own kind of cup rings or glass rings on my pager paper. I'm going in a pretty diagonal design. I'm going to alternate the ink colors and I am just pouncing the ink onto the bottom of the glass you can see here and then the ink is actually going to react to the water that I spritzed already on my paper and it's going to kind of the ink's going to kind of run in to the water and that's going to give my uh, cup rings or glass rings a really kind of authentic look. So I'm alternating the colors. I am putting the uh, wine glass stamps on top of each other, overlapping them. And then every so often I am spraying my paper with water again to make those inks kind of activate and react to the water and bleed. So isn't this awesome? You do not need a stamp to play with your inks. Uh, I'm trying to think what else you could use to stamp with. I mean, you could use lots of things. Look around your house and see what you have. Uh, these cleaned up super easily. Uh, it, they were so easy to uh, clean up. I just ran them under some warm water. So anything in your house that is glass, that has a really cool, fun shape, you should try stamping with it. See what you get. You can also see here if I wanted something that was a little bit more smudgy looking or a little more messier, I'm kind of putting my glass down and then kind of just almost like turning it a little bit, but kind of like smooshing it down into the paper. And it did get, give a different look to my rings. Once I was happy with how the ink looked on my paper, I am then going ahead and using some aqua shimmer splash in the gilded color from Brutus Monroe. I'm just dipping my paintbrush right down into that bottle and then full strength splattering it around those wine glass rings. I'm going to go ahead and set that aside to dry and now I have embossed two pieces of colored cardstock with an embossing folder. This is, it's a lace embossing folder from Tim Holtz. It's called Lace. It's just called Lace. I have cut a panel to fit inside the embossing folder, dry embossed these cardstock, and now I am taking Hero Arts, U Hero Arts Unicorn ink, and I am just going direct to paper the beautiful white pigment ink over the embossed parts of my pattern paper to kind of, or my cardstock to kind of pull in the color and uh, so you can see the contrast from the embossing folder. And then I haven't done the middle part of that panel because I'm going to put my photo on top of it, but I'm going to do the second panel as well. And actually that second panel went on to become a card. This panel right here is going to be the mat for my photo. Because we have pigment ink and the dry embossing on my photo mat, I am going to hit it with two different kinds of adhesives. I'm going to hit it with my tape runner and I'm going to also hit it with some Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive. That gives me just a little bit of wiggle room and it also lets the wet adhesive kind of go down in the cracks so I get a good, um, a good stick and this photo isn't going anywhere. My lovely picture was taken at a vineyard. I have actually been working on uh, 
photos from this particular vineyard for all of my a cherry on top projects for this month so there would have been a blog post on this past Friday which is also from this trip and now I'm going to go ahead and do this photo I love this picture that I took at the vineyard so I'm going to use it as kind of like the opening of this particular vineyard and then there will be another <laughs> Oh, I need a vineyard page and that one will be up on my channel for the YouTube hop on January 2nd. So if you like lots of whiny photos or you are a vineyard person, then by all means head over to my channel and check it out. I decided that I want to pop my photo up and I also am going to grab a couple of these pattern or pattern paper from the stash and I'm going to create my title with that pattern paper. So here I'm showing you what my background looks like with all the beautiful gold elements and then we can go ahead and put this together. It is nice and dry now so I've let everything dry, all the ink, all the splatter, everything. I've inked everything up using Vintage Photo Distress Oxide ink and I have put the foam tape on the back of my photo. And I'm gonna keep the page design for this layout. Pretty simple because I did a lot of work on that background and I want to uh, keep as much of it on show as I possibly can. I've die cut and made my own dimensional letters for my title. I'm gonna move them around a little bit before I decide where I want them to go on my page. What I opted to do was to grab uh, some of the ephemera pieces from this collection and then place my title on top of these two tags. I'm also going to break the title up into syllables so um, it kind of it doesn't run into the background. It the the title kind of stays on top of that diagonal striped paper. It does overreach it a little bit, but not too much. All of the photos or all of the um, products I'm using, besides what I used for the background, is from a PhotoPlay's Vineyard collection. So all the pattern papers and some of the ephemera pieces or stickers that I'm going to use now. I did cut the white border off of most of the stickers that I used because especially in the case of these corks, I felt like the cork was smaller than the white border around it so I just trimmed those white borders off. I'm also adding a wax seal to my layout and I'm just going to create a little bit of a cluster here to the left and then underneath the wax seal I'm going to audition some stickers until I have the stickers layered up the way that I like them. I used wax seals on all three of the pages I did from this vineyard trip and I think that they turned out really nice. They kind of have that, I don't know, wine feel to them. I don't even know why. It just I liked it and it was a little bit of texture, a little something extra. And here is our layout all done. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you will give stamping with some unusual objects a try. I love how this page turned out. I think that those wine glass rings turned out so pretty. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.